Hello friends, today let's learn backtracking and uh, this will be the first video in this series and today we will solve two basic problems which is generating permutations and generating subsets and first we will know that the three steps to solve any backtracking problem is choose, explode, unchoose because Actually, backtrack is recursion with constraints, and um, you can also see it as brute force plus pruning. So in general, there are two parts in backtracking, the basic case and the recursive case. Uh, and when a question asks us to generate all the possible answers or it asks us whether there is a solution. We may need to try every possible cases to check whether it is valid. Or if it just asks whether there is a solution, when we find it, we can quickly return. Uh, we will see this choose, explore, unchoose mailing in the following two questions. Let's first see the generating permutation. And we will see the, a simple question without duplicates. If we are given an array of 1, 2, 3, we know this is all, all this array's permutation. Actually, for the first place, we have three options. And in the same place, we have two options. And in the third place, we have one option. So in total, there is n factorial possibilities. n is the length of this array. And we know in a backtracking, we usually have a you know, help function. Let's see the parameters of this help function. As we need to generate all the permutations, so we need least least integers. Let's call it a result, and we also need a current list, which we call it cur, current list. And we also need to pass this array, which is named numbers. And how do we know we need to add a current list to our result list? When do we decide it is a base case? Actually, as it is permutation, so all the List should have the same length. So once the current list size equal to the numbers dot length, we know we should add it to our result list. And uh, basically, permutation is just you know different uh, arrangement uh, for all the items. So we can use a boolean array to check whether current item has been used as the permutation order matters so we can generate the current list one by one if it's used we skip it otherwise we add it to the current list uh, this is the whole idea each chart can only be used once we will use uh, the vt the array to mark whether we used it before and uh, this is base case. So now let's write the code. First, we need to write the result list uh, and uh, do a simple edge case check. If the number length is less than one, we just return result. Otherwise, we call a help function and we finally return this result. Let's write to help list list integer result list integer. We know it's current list, and we need to pass these numbers. We also need a boolean array. We call it weighted. So the base case is once the current dot size equal to number dot length, we will add uh, this. You know the current list to the result list and we return. 
you should know that we cannot just add the current list because in Java is a pass by reference. Okay, so how about the recurrent uh, case? We check uh, every, you know, elements. If we visited before, we just continue. Otherwise, we add it uh, to our current list, numbers i, i, and we mark it uh, as visited equal to true, and then we explode result current numbers visited and then we unchoose it so we remove it from the current list current dot size minus one we unchoose it so the vti will be false okay we fill these parameters will be result a new array list and then numbers new boolean you know, that will be, you know, that will be numbers dot length. Okay, let's see, once we have duplicates, if the given numbers is one, one, two, if we use the same algorithms, we will generate this one, one, two twice. Why? Because we, we actually add this element by its index. So we will treat index 0, 1, 2, and uh, index 1, 2, 0 as two different permutations, but actually they all means 1, 1, 2. So how to skip this duplicate list? Well, a simple solution is we sort these numbers first. And if the current item is the same as its preceding one, and the preceding one is unbeated, we just skip current one. What does that mean? We generate this one, one, two by the same algorithm. But when we handle this, you know, this one again, we do not do the same thing as before. If we do the same thing as before, we will add the first one you know, f following this one. Actually, we will generate uh, this uh, double one by the index one and the zero. But we need to skip it. We can only add this two other than this one. So if uh, the current item is the same as its preceding item, and the preceding item is not, uh, has not been used, we skip it. So uh, this makes sure that we can only generate one, one, two once. Okay, now let's write uh, this code. Actually, just uh, a little change of the previous code. Result array list. So if uh, numbers dot length less than one, we return result. Otherwise, we call the help function and we return result. And do not forget to array sort this function. Oh, sorry, this is array. So that will be void helper and uh, list result and uh, current list and uh, numbers. Also, we need the Boolean array. The same base case if the current dot size equal to numbers dot length, we just add uh, this new no array list current to the result and we return. This is the same as the previous code numbers dot length i plus plus. So if this item already visited, we continue. And if, uh, you know, the index should always be valid, if i greater than zero and the numbers i equals to numbers i minus one, and uh, we haven't beat the previous one, we continue. If not the case, we just do the same thing. So we add uh, the numbers i and uh, we mark it as weighted will be true. 
and we do the help function result cur numbers deleted and then we unchoose current uh, item so cur remove cur dot size minus one and the deleted i will be false let's fill these parameters result array list numbers and there will be new boolean array its size should be number dot length yeah okay so let's see the generating subsets uh, the first is a simple question we do not have any duplicates in this numbers array so this should be the subsets of this given array and for every item we can either choose it or unchoose it so basically it has two to the three possibilities see the first uh, list uh, that means we choose one two three and the second uh, list means we choose one two but we do not choose three so on so forth let's think about the help function we need uh, of course we need uh, this result list and the current list and the numbers array but this time we do not need a visited uh, uh, you know visited the uh, array because every list uh, do not need to be the same length in the permutation every list should have the same length but in the subset you know many lists do not have the same length we all need to know that we have checked uh, till the end so we only need the index that we know so we have reached the end once we Handle the last element, uh, we should add a current uh, list to our result list. The order does not matter, and each chart can either be used or unused. So we should call this uh, help function twice, one for using this item, another for not using it. And these things we decide whether or not to add a current list to the result list. Okay, let's write this subset. This is the result array list. If the number star less less than one, we return result. And uh, then we call the help function. Finally, we return result private void help function uh, list integer result that will call current that will be numbers the, the index so the base case is just if the index equal to numbers dot length we add uh, the current list to the result list and then we return and then we add uh, current otherwise this is the recursion case we add the current uh, you know the numbers in that to the current list and uh, we call the help function we choose it and the current numbers that will be next item and we unchoose it so we remove current size um, current size minus one and uh, we call the function again should be the same index plus one so we fill these parameters result new array list numbers and zero okay so how about if we have duplicates in the given array like one two two the result should be one two two one two if we use the same algorithm as this preceding one we will generate this one two twice because it will treat index one uh, a zero one and the uh, index 0, 2 as two different subsets, but actually they are the same. So we need to skip it. How to skip it? Skip it. Actually, you should know the order of these subsets we generate. You will see. If the given array is 1, 2, 3, the subsets we, generate, we generated are 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 1, 3. How does it run? We first add uh, all the elements to the 
uh, current list. And we find the index equal to number dot length. So we add uh, this list to our result list and we return. So then we remove the current dot size minus one. So we remove three and then we call this help function. And this will also be three. And then we go here. So we add one, two into our result list and we return, uh, which is, you know, this one. And we return because it's the end, right? And we return here. Uh, we remove the current size minus one, minus one. So we remove this two. And then we go uh, this line. The index plus one will equal to two, right? And we go here. Two is not equal to number dollars. So we go to cur add the numbers two, which is three. So we add three to our list. And we call this help function again. And the index one index plus one will equal to three. So we go to this line and we find the index equal to number dot length. So result will add one three to the result list. So we return. So that means uh, if this is one two two this is one two, it should also be one two, and we need to skip this list. So when we remove this two from this list, and if it's a next item, which is also two, right? It's the same as the current item. We should skip it. Otherwise, we will just, uh, you know, add this two to the current list. So the same as the permutation, we need to sort this array for first. And then we can skip the same item in case we generate the same subsets twice. So okay, actually we can copy this. Uh, okay, we can copy it. Uh, which means this is a duplicate. Duplicate. So we paste it. Okay, so let's change this uh, code. We need to sort it, so arrays, sort these numbers. And we only need to do a little change. So when we remove it, while the index plus one is less than those numbers dot length, and if numbers index plus one equal to numbers index, what can we do? Let index plus plus. So mm, that should be correct. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.